NAWCQ is over. I got a lot more good stuff on day two, and I can't wait to show y'all what it is. Holy wow, guys. Nationals was a ton of fun. I got to hang out with a couple of friends. Got to see some cool geeky tubers like Jay from Fresh Off the Press. Got to see Trill from Team APS. And Paul, if you're watching this, I gotta know where you got that, that iced out Millennium Ring that you gave to Trill. Uh, if you do happen to see this, leave the link down in the comments. I would love to know where you got it. And to start today off, we have a Korean Legend of Blue Eyes left, uh, huh? left leg of Exodia. Or would it be the right leg? But, uh, you know, I said I wasn't going to collect any, uh, any boring cards, but these came out of free bonus packs. So why not? And then, you know, to, uh, to enter into the buyer's appreciation giveys on Rexon 34s whatnot stream, we bought our customary autograph. Uh, it was a weekend of autographs, so I asked Heart of the Pack if he can, uh, Find one for me and look at that. We also got us a fairly cheap Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. I probably paid less than a dollar for this. And then we have, right, these are all some of the higher rarity stuff. So we also have a Prismatic Collector Rare Foolish Burial, a Prismatic Ultimate Rare Apollosa. We have another. Collector Cosmic Cyclone. We have a Plat Secret Magician Souls. A Prismatic Ultimate Rare Book of Eclipse. And out of Millennium Rares, the Rare Hunters Club, Harps, the man himself, pulled me this beautiful Ghost Rare Cyber Dragon out of two random. Goes from the two packs from the past two and oh boy uh heart of the pack told me he was gonna shove something in my in my uh delivery for my birthday i had no idea what it was gonna be i did not expect it to be something like this but we got us a oh wait oh, oh, the grades on the other side uh we have it's a uh Metal Raiders, Portuguese, first edition ultra rare. Stunning and beautiful. Thank you, Heart of the Pack. This is going to go beautifully into the collection. And I will cherish this forever. At the show, got us a couple of ultimate rare uh, Fallen of Albaz for the deck. I now have one QCR, two ultimate rares. Now I need one more ultimate rare and two more QCRs so I can decide whether or not I want to, which max rarity I want to bling out. This was day two token that I got made. You will notice it is the Mimigul uh, treasure room. I almost went back for a third, for a full play set of tokens, but that line was just, it was just crazy. I didn't have the mental fortitude. Well, I had the physical fortitude. I did not have the willpower to stay in that line for a third for a third round. We also, day two, got some special additions because we are now over 100 subscribers. We now get to start saving up for our 250 subscriber video. Uh, I believe we are at 117 of 250 right now. Uh, we'll start putting a counter to show how close we are to 250. And at 250, we'll be opening up a lot more special editions, probably at least double what I did for the 100 special opening. And yeah, time to start hoarding, guys. And we have 
two of the three infinite forbidden boxes that I have on the way. I'm still missing one. Heart of the pack. I got two. Got one more on the way. Um, just let me know when you're ready for another box battle. I'll be hitting you up on Instagram here probably today. And then, let's see, right. I had told a vendor that they had severely underpriced uh, an ultimate rare. It was a $5 mod play shield ultimate rare. And um, yeah, it was actually worth closer to like 20 or 25 uh, in the condition it was in. Maybe 19, 20. But I had offered them like an extra $10 just to be like, hey, you guys missed out on some money. Let me give y'all some and they were like no 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 the guy who pros priced all this out he did it himself and if you got a good deal you got a good deal and then i went and bought i believe it was the cosmo blazers and uh two of these maze of millennia and he actually gave me a really good discount on the special editions and these two free packs so hopefully we get something good out of here and last video i had picked i had just grabbed 10 loose packs from this box sitting at a booth and pulled a qcr so can we get another one? But first, who doesn't like free stuff? All right, we got Supreme King Dragon Darkworm, Contain, Chlorless, Hundred Eyes Dragon, Supreme King Gate Infernity, and Earthbound Greater Line Walker. Oh, oh, and Hextia. All right, we got Mirage Swordsman, Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken, Reinforce. Do we actually get an Ultra or a Collector Rare? Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer, and. Ancient Chant. Don't believe it's worth a lot, but yo, two random two random packs that were the only ones left and we actually got an ultra rare out of it. Yo, we take those. Alright, now somewhere in here Hopefully there's an SP Little Knight. QCR at that. You got Miracle of the Supreme King. Tarai. Stars align above the shrine. Pendulum evolution. Wow. Well, well, well. First pack, secret rare, Imseti, glory of the Horus. Beautiful. Uh, for the Dark Magician Ghost Rare uh, that I traded for day uh, Saturday of the event, I actually traded a QCR Imseti as part of the trade deal. I lost out big on that one, but that's a, a funny reminder. Lower rarity teasing me. Alright. Grimlina. Play of the Testina. Full of the Supreme Celestial King. Lilla Rap. Starry Dragon Cycle. We got Full Armored XYZ, Shino Baron, Asset Mountus, Wat Tuna, and Infernal Flame Banshee. Another like $3 card, I believe. Okay, alright. I should have probably just bought every single one of those Age of Overlord packs if this is what they're going to be doing. Alright, Exoraptor, Watyuki, Sinful Spoils of Doom Resilia, and the Warrior Dragon, and Snake Eye Oak. Hello again, Gen and Ken. And we got Cursed Bride Doll, Sinful Spoils of Doom, Ken. Pit Knight Philly, 
And TG Mighty Striker. Not bad. Lilla Rap. Miracle of the Supreme King. Earthbound Servant Geo Grimlina. Vasilia. Perfumet. The mythical king of phantom beasts. Sound good? Yeah. Yep, sounds fine. Pendulum Evolution. Master Tao. Escape Goat. Shino Baron. And TG All Clear. Pit Knight Philly, Ken, Discordance, What Yuki, and all oh right, two secrets, and no SP Little Knight. Hmm. TG Rocket Salamander. Don't tease me like this, Age. Sprite Doll, Asset Mountus, Play of the Testina, Exoraptor. Ugh. I saw a link and was like, well then, but nope. Exceed the Pendulum. Tease. Full Armored XYZ. Supreme King Dragon Lightworm, Watt Psychic Fighting Porter, Pendulum Evolution, and Embrace of the Testina. Watt Yuki, Asset Mountains, Mountus, Nemlaria Repeater. Full Armored XYZ, Starry Dragon Cycle. Hmm. It's pretty. Come on, QCR. Come on, SP Little Knight. Show me, show me what you got. No QCR, but. Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, the Scapegoat, Watuna, Curse Bride Doll, and a third secret rare. This is bonkers. I really should have just bought every single one of those Age of Overlord loose packs if this is what they were going to be stacked like. Alright, Arius, the Labyrinth Butler. Really? Yeah, today's short and sweet. It's been a hell of a weekend. I got a lot of work ahead of me. And next time I see you guys will be Infinite Forbidden. Possibly a box battle with Heart of the Peck. Until next time.